Chris Kendall who now goes for the pin here. Fulton powers up to kick out of that one and the crowd getting on the back of Kendall and Kendall shouldn't allow himself to be distracted. Seven years in the business now Kendall doesn't really get bogged down the semantics of the crowd as he chokes out Fulton King on that middle rope, uses the referee's count. Now sends Fulton off the rope and that's a big back elbow there. An insulting pin here. Fulton King's having none of it, kicking out just before the one potentially there. In the corner, Kendall has Fulton. Chops, punches, and forearms and blows. Just a brutal attack from Chris Kendall. Sends Fulton off the ropes here. Middle of the ring. It's a, I mean, the frame, the size of Chris Kendall to do that. And that might... No. It's like a wrecking ball when Chris Kendall launches himself at you with a drop kick. Like that. And then here we have it in the middle of the ring. Kendall going to his submission game here. Chris Kendall knows he's got the advantage in terms of experience. He brought Fulton King into target wrestling. Fulton King with a good reversal here. Big clubbing punches to the forehead. That's nice. In the corner, using that frame once again. Oh, and misses. I think what was going to be a drop kick there. And just kicks out. Great ring awareness from Chris Kendall. The match changes hands. As Kendall gains control here. Kendall letting the crowd know. Great suplex there. That's not an easy thing to do to a man the size of Fulton King. Middle rope here, Chris Kendall. Flies with a double axe handle. Let's see move. Just the two count though. Just the two count there. Middle rope, double axe handle. Sends Fulton King through the middle rope. Spill into the floor. Chris Kendall just wanted a breather there, showing his dominance, staying in the ring, forcing Fulton King to make the effort to get back to his feet and then get back into the ring. But maybe didn't think that the crowd could really start jeering up Fulton King here, and he seems to have used that. Slow to get into the ring, he's going to pay for that one. Chris Kendall straight over his opponent. And, I mean, that's a good two count, good press there, good pin. Chris Kendall, but I feel like Fulton King maybe just trying to catch some breath here when he can, but he's been caught there. Oh, and that looks torturous between the ropes there with both arms pulling back and just sheer blows to the chest. As many as he can get away with before the referees count. Kendall on the apron. Oh, big boots. He is putting on quite a display here this evening. Chris Kendall is a good boot, sends King into the ring, goes for another boot. King's out the way! Nice slam. The double underhook there. Both men are down and the referee's count is up to three. As Fulton King can feel the crowd. Use it to get to his feet first. Kendall is almost up. Both men are up here. Collided in the middle of the ring. Fulton King takes Kendall to the ground and once more with another great clothesline. It's Fulton King calling it. And he's in the corner. Twice there. One more time. Nice. Dominant here from Chris Kendall in the middle of the ring. Drop kick. There's that drop kick that perhaps Fulton King was going for earlier. Sends Chris Kendall into the corner. He's on that bottom rope there. 
Fulton King feeling himself, feeling the crowd, feeling the occasion, picks his opponent. Oh, oh, King's landing potentially here. It could all be over. King's landing. That will be a good night to and um, Chris Kendall just kicked out of King's Landing. I, I, I have never seen anyone kick out of King's Landing. And Kendall is on the ring apron and Kendall is very much still in this contest. Oh, and uses that top rope to his advantage, creates a lot of separation, wants to get himself in the ring here. What's he doing? Who's gone for a steel chair? That's not going to be allowed, Chris. There's no point here. After showing some great resilience to stay in the contest after receiving a King's Landing, Chris Kendall is in the middle of the ring with a chair. No, the referee stepping in. Well done, referee. Well done. What? He just spewed into the ropes. I think he just hit himself in the face with the chair. And now, low blow and a kick to the side of the head. That's just. I think. No. Unfortunately. Fulton King couldn't quite get his shoulder off the mat in time after receiving such a despicable low blow, which the referee didn't see. I think the referee only just about saw that big boot to the side of the head. And I mean, those big boots are brutal enough to put an opponent away. And it was just enough, just enough to keep Fulton King down in this contest. The winner is in the box. Chris Kendall gets the victory over his former tag team partner. Fulton King will want another opportunity holding his uh, midsection there as you would do if you'd just been kicked in your midsection. I mean this was a really good contest there. It's unfortunate that Chris Kendall had to end it by uh, means of dark arts. That's what you might get here at Target Wrestling. Thanks very much for joining us and bye for now.